hello everyone how are you all i hope you all are good in your spirits today through this video we are going to learn about the turkish invasions in india what was the starting how the muslim rule muslim rulers attracted towards india we are going to study about this in this video Abbasid caliphs of Baghdad recruited the Turks as guards and professional soldiers but by the end of 9th century the power of caliph weakened why because the Turks slowly took over the power and became governors of the provinces some of them asserted their independence from the caliph kuch logon ne apne aap ko bilkul alag kar liya unse aur apne independent kingdoms ko start kar diya now the disintegration of the abbasid empire in west asia led to the emergence of several independent states but the two important states established by the turks were ghazni and ghor Mehmud of Ghazni he was a powerful and ambitious ruler he was born in 971 century he ascended the throne in 998 century he decided to invade north west india where the gurjara pratiharas empire had become weak due to the frequent battles with pallavas and rashtrakutas he wanted to make ghazni a small hilly and poor region which was earlier into a powerful empire because he belonged to ghazni he was attracted by the great wealth of india and some historians says that the main objective of mehmud ghazni was to propagate islam and gain popularity among muslims and hence he managed to succeed because of mutual rivalries of rajputs and north india which usually happened in india that our indians the indians used to fight with each other to show their supremacy and due to which the foreigners the muslims the uh, turkish the turks they gain the advantage and they try to invade in india hence mehmud of ghazni he attacked temples towns as temples were treasure troves of fabulous riches he really wanted to uh, loot the great wealth of india and so the <clears throat> important attacks were nagarkot kangra thaneswar mathura and kannauj but the main and the most destructive attack was directed against somnath temple in 1025 century it is situated on the sea coast of gujarat here mehmud broke the idol of somnath and looted property worth 20 million rupees this was a most destructive attack of mehmud ghazni in india he returned to his capital with immense treasure from india he invaded <clears throat> his invasion exposed the weakness of indian rulers bata chuka tha mehmud ghazni hamare yahan aake ki indian rulers kitne weak hain and this paved the way for the establishment of muslim rule in india trade interest also attracted many muslim to settle in india and this period saw the development of a close cultural interaction between india and islamic central asia mahmud's destruction of valuable and artistic temples and idols was a great loss to indian heritage usne yahan aake itna destruction kiya tha 
टेम्पल्स को ऑलमोस्ट ख़त्म कर दिया था हमारे इंडियन हेरिटेज को बहुत बड़ा लॉस हुआ था महमूद गजनो गजनी की वजह से बट यस yes, उसकी इसी पीरियड ने ही यही बताया हमें कि कैसे दूसरे कंट्रीज़ हमारे यहाँ जो आई उनसे क्लोज कल्चरल इंट्रैक्शन हुआ हमारे लोगों का नाउ कम्स दी मोहम्मद ऑफ घोर दैट इज़ मोहम्मद गौरी ही वॉज अ रूलर ऑफ अ स्मॉल किंगडम ऑफ घोर इन अफगानिस्तान He conquered Ghazni, and then he turned his attention towards India to expand his empire by giving the charge of Ghazni to his brother. Then he turned towards India. The credit of founding of Muslim empire in India goes directly to Muhammad Ghori. Here he occupied Peshawar, Lahore, and Sindh, but. In 1191 century Ghori attacked Prithviraj Chauhan the Rajput ruler of Delhi and Ajmer Prithviraj defeated Ghori in the first battle of Tarain and then Ghori returned in 1192 century and defeated Prithviraj Chauhan in the second battle of Tarain and captured the throne of Delhi and ajmer but his dream of establishing an islamic empire would have been incomplete without conquering kannauj as we all know we already have studied about kannauj why all the kingdoms were after kannauj just to show their supremacy kannauj was a very powerful kingdom the region which has kannauj was the most powerful kingdom and hence a fierce battle took place between the muslims and the rajputs the power of rajputs were crushed king jaychand was defeated and he occupied the kannauj and benares mohammad gori did not have a child of his own he put his territories under the charge of his trusted slave and general Kutub Uddin Aibak He is also spelled like Kutub Uddin Aibak He was the founder of the Turkish dominion in north western India and yes the Mamluk dynasty in Delhi which we will be learning in our next videos Now the main part is what were the main causes of the success of Gauri and defeat of Indian rulers in the Indian history ऐसा क्या था कि इंडियंस हार गए बाहर से जो लोगों ने इन्वेट किया अपनी ही कंट्री में हम खुद ही हार गए क्यों बिकॉज देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ रीजन्स द फर्स्ट इज द डिस यूनिटी अमंग द इंडियन रूलर्स एंड द कास्ट सिस्टम यहाँ पे खुद ही यूनिटी नहीं थी लोगों के में देन नो कॉन्टैक्ट विद द रूलर्स मेड द कॉमन पीपल डिससेटिस्फाइड जो आम लोग थे उनका रूलर्स के साथ कोई कॉन्टैक्ट ही नहीं था जिससे वो बिल्कुल डिससेटिस्फाइड थे कि वो अपनी बात किसी को कह ही नहीं पाते थे देन राजपूत रूलर्स हेल्प द टर्क्स अगेंस्ट देयर ओन कंट्री सम फ्यू राजपूत रूलर्स ने टर्क्स की हेल्प कर दी थी अपनी कंट्री के अगेंस्ट क्यों की थी देर आर एंड देर कैन बी एन नंबर ऑफ रीजन्स कि वो अपने रूलर से खुश नहीं थे या उनको डर लगता था कि हम भी मारे जाएंगे तो इसलिए अच्छा है कि उनके अंडर में ही हम काम कर लें या वही हमारे पे रूल कर कर लें हमें क्या फ़र्क पड़ता है तो उन्होंने उनकी हेल्प कर दी फोर्थ रीजन द फ्यूडल सिस्टम एज वी ऑल नो व्हाट इज़ फ्यूडल सिस्टम वेयर द लैंड ओनर्स वर वेरी पावरफुल दिस वीक द पावर ऑफ द किंग्स हमने पर हम ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके हैं कि जो लैंड ओनर्स थे वो धीरे धीरे सारी पावर अपने हाथ में लेने लग गए थे दे स्टॉप्ड गिविंग द टैक्सेस टू द किंग्स सो दिस मेड देम पावरफुल और किंग से ज़्यादा लैंड लोन लैंड ओनर्स जो हैं वो पावरफुल हो गए थे एंड देन घोरीज आर्मी वॉज वेल इक्विप्ड हिज कैंपेनिंग्स वर प्रॉपरली प्लान वो प्रॉपर प्लान करके अपनी टीम को चलाते थे अपनी आर्मी को चलाते थे द मुस्लिम आर्मीज मूव्ड स्विफ्टली ऑन देयर हॉर्सेज एज कम्पेयर टू इंडियन आर्मी वो लोग बहुत अच्छे से बहुत स्विफ्टली हॉर्सेज पे मूव करते थे और लड़ाई लड़ते थे बट इंडियन आर्मी दे यूज ओल्ड मेथड्स ऑफ वॉर equipments and elephants 
as they turned their wrath on their own forces. Sometimes elephant जब गुस्से में आ जाता है तो उसको नहीं पता चलता कि उसकी वो किस साइड की आर्मी के साथ है उन एलिफेंट्स का गुस्सा अपनी ही आर्मी पर निकल जाता था तो इट वॉज अ ग्रेट लॉस एज एंड इट आई होप द टर्किश इन्वेजन इन इंडिया इज क्लियर टू यू वी हैव स्टार्टेड अबाउट द महमूद गजनी एंड मोहम्मद गौरी स्टे ट्यून एंड स्टे कनेक्टेड for the delhi sultanate which was started by the qutubuddin aibak he was the general of muhammad gori thank you have a nice day